when we were kids, we went to this place, and it was this like barbecue shop, and they served bat. <gasps> no. Yes, girl. What? <laughs> they served bat. How was this prepared? What? Girl, yeah. <laughs> Hi. Camille. <laughs> Welcome. Hello. Thank you for being here. I'm very oh God, excited for, for this. We've got our, our spicy cucumber margarita matching the outfit. We didn't even plan we this. Didn't. You are here now in New York, but you are from a town outside of Tampa, Lutz, Florida. And I would love to know if there are any places there growing up or when you go back that you love visiting that are nostalgic, or if there are very any like Lutz slash Florida centric foods that mm. you look forward to getting when you're there? Yes. <laughs> there was a spot, it no longer exists, but when we were kids, we went to this place and it was this like barbecue shop and they served bat. <gasps> no. Yes, girl. What? <laughs> they served bat. How was this prepared? What? Girl, yes. Like they came out on, and on the plate and it's just not spread eagle, but I guess Open. spread bat. Splayed. Ah, okay. And you would kind of just like, it was- Did it have the fur? I honestly, at this point, I don't- Have you I, wiped it from your memory? I'm, <laughs> I'd solo, now like telling the story later years, cause that used to be like my gag. Oh. Now telling the story later years, I'm like, that was really messed up. <laughs> <laughs> oh Thank my gosh! So wow, it's huge! Whoa! So this looks amazing. I uh, love, I love a guac. Love a guac. We did a, a medium spice level, and you know, I thought the pairing would go good. Well, actually, our host thought it would go good. I wasn't sure. <laughs> I and love apparently spice. we love spice. I love a kick. Mm hmm. Just Nothing to, like insane, but right. Just to let you know you're alive. Yeah. <laughs> to <laughs> remind me. Just to remind you. So being from Florida, I would mm -hmm. like to guess that you have been to a public supermarket before. I love Publix. You love Publix. Now, I have to know, have you had a Publix sub and does it live up to the hype? Of course I've had a Publix sub every time I go home. Right so I passage. guess I would, add, I would add that to like the Lutz oh. food thing. Okay. I know my Publix sub order, I can say to my sleep. Oh. It is like what? to a T, I have it perfected after years of Yes. And, <laughs> and and what is this order? The order is, it's on an Italian five grain roll scooped, or not roll, but the Italian five grain bread scooped, because then you need more room. Have you heard this contentious I'm putting in. topic about scooped bagels in New York? What's the tea? What's the tea? Uh, well, that New Yorkers are very much against it. It's, it's <clears throat> kind of a thing that came about once upon a time. LA has fully embraced it. Because as, it's as LA. They would. Yeah. Uh, and New Yorkers, not pleased. And they don't like that. They don't like that. They say, this is really good stuff you're taking out. It's rude. What are you doing? Yeah. But here you need more room for the uh, ingredients. It's not quite a bagel. I think we just take bagels seriously here. I think, I mean, to be honest, I'm not a scooper full time. I would say that I... Publix time only. Yeah, only at Publix. Yep. Because <laughs> I do, if, it's, if I'm getting a bagel in New York City, I'm not dare. It's too it's much good scoop. stuff. That's good shit. Man. What are you doing? Back to your sub. <laughs> the, sub the sub, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> da, 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 da. It is a. It is scooped. It has um, mayonnaise, mustard, yellow, um, oven gold turkey, like boar's head oven gold, uh -huh. provolone. Okay, moving on to the vegetables. Ah, uh, yes. Spinach, onion, um, black olives, banana peppers. Cucumbers, pickles. Ooh. Cucumber so, two ways. I like that. Yes. Yeah. Salt, pepper, oil, and vinegar. Oregano. Of course. <laughs> it is an Italian Wait, it's sub. Not, it's not oil and vinegar, sorry. It's like the sub sauce, like the infamous sub sauce. What it's sub tea. sauce? I'm, it, it's like a oil and vinegar with just but spices a special, in but there. A special but kind. it's special to Publix. Understood. But it is just like an oil and vinegar based okay. situation. The TTT though, mm. is that you have to get the deli sauce on the side because that shit soaks your sandwich. And then by the time you mm. get home to consume it, it's your bread is already wet. Oh, it's almost like an au poivre situation, like a no, dip? No, no. Oh, not, it's not that serious? And then serious? you're opening her back up, you're drizzling, and then you're consuming. Got it. Chips, 
always have chips on the side. What like type? a kettle cooked, mm. Cape Cod. Are you throwing them in the sandwich? I used to. So mm -hmm. I used to work at Publix. <gasps> This is the who, who, who knew? Wink. <laughs> but I didn't, um, so I, when I was working there, you would get like a discount on the subs. <clears throat> I would hope so. While you're on the job, while you're, well, during your shift. Sure. So I would put mesquite barbecue chips in my sandwich. But that was an earlier iteration. Move. That was like when I was in high school, so I wasn't ah. as freaky with the <laughs> toppings. That's, that's I true. wasn't scooping. I was white bread. I was, you know. And then we mature. And then we matured. We, we the palate expanded. What? So I what know. are you, a Jersey Mike's girl? We didn't have Jer I don't think we had Jersey Mike's when I was growing up either. We had one. We like... had Subway. Oh, you were a Subway girl. And not particularly. It's just what was there. So... I, was, I was a Subway girl too. Oh, were you? I won't judge. Before or after the Jared scandal? <laughs> During. Before, <laughs> maybe? I don't know. What is so. the Jared scandal? Oh, dear. Uh, Jared, this part will probably cut, but uh, Jared from Subway. Oh, Child. there's, oh yes. I like how that's where you went first and that's correct. So all subs aside, uh, <laughs> you have uh, an album, New York to Florida, mm -hmm. and that makes me think of traveling. Mm -hmm. And you posted a video on your social media about if you're at an airport looking for a place with great acoustics to sing, you should do it in the yoga room. <laughs> I'm very curious. I don't think I'm VIP enough. Where are these yoga rooms in airports? The only yoga room I've ever found in an airport is San Francisco. San Francisco, okay. My sister lives in San Francisco, so I've been a few times. Yeah. And I always go to the yoga room. And I always sing in the yoga room whenever I'm there. Or I'll work out. Like, I fully am, like, giving... I'm giving the yoga room. I'm clocking my time in Make it, with the yoga advantage. room. Absolutely. And people will, like, come in and be like, oh, sorry. Like, they're... <laughs> So get my, out of here! No. My private <laughs> this session. Is my room. Oh. Um, <clears throat> and and so where is this yoga room? Yeah, is it is it in a specific terminal? Uh, is it past? I'm assuming it's past security. It's is past it security, wherever the Delta terminal is, probably. Okay, from a so Delta maybe girl. maybe Delta specific. A one chopped salad with shrimp. That's you right here. Okay, in that case, you got that. <laughs> Let us. Thank you so much. Sorry about that. So this looks. Amazing. What was what was the inspiration for, for your choice? You got a uh, chopped salad with some shrimp on there. Um, to maintain being a healthy queen. Ah, okay, respect. <laughs> no, but also I, as I eat chips and like ask for your food. But um, Well, this is what, what we call balance. <laughs> now, I guess while we're about to dine, uh, I, I would like to clear this through with you. You do have a song uh, called Bad Habit. What is mm. the number one bad habit that somebody could have at a dining table? Probably, I would assume like chewing with your mouth open. Okay, but that, that would I do also it for you. am self-conscious because my sister tells me I, I do chew with my mouth open at times. Oh, okay. Now, is she just so being critical because she's your sister, or do you think it's an actual problem? <laughs> Hard to say. We were just um, actually talking about. Uh, siblings and things like that and I had mentioned um, you know before we started that as we were sharing hair stories that I kind of looked like little orphan Annie who then you told me was like an icon to you mm -hmm. and you well I'll let you tell the story because I only got part of it because I wanted to continue this conversation because it sounded uh, amazing it, it leads up to a wig story which I just you love a wig I guess. I didn't know I did until you started telling me about this. Essentially, I'm like, I was eight years old. We were at Barnes & Noble. There was a flyer that was like, hey, there's an Annie look-alike, sing-alike contest on this other date. Winner gets like VIP tickets to Annie, the musical, when the tour comes through Tampa. Amazing. <clears throat> And you get a VIP experience and you get to see the show and you get to like meet Annie afterwards. I was like, are you kidding me? So I um, I was like, mom, we gotta, we gotta go, we gotta get the locket. We gotta get the red dress. We did gotta get, get a the, dog? the wig. We did not get a dog. Uh, we did, no okay. dog, no, no dogs were used in this. Okay. Um, and I just remember like going to like a full on like weird wig shop in Tampa somewhere trying on a wig we rented a wig like oh. we didn't even buy one we rented it okay so i don't know it was like 
Is that a thing? I don't know how that works, but I would ass- I would assume maybe in like theatrical places mm-hmm. that's probably commonplace. Like a, yeah, you're right. Like, and I'm you sure they'd like clean it. Eh, it's fine. And I remember we find this like comically huge red mullet wig. That's curly hair. <laughs> Annie goes to Florida. Annie goes to Florida. <laughs> Annie becomes the Florida man. And basically, <laughs> like it, I just remember it was so big on me because I was a kid. Yeah. So it's just like this massive whatever wig. We get the locket from Bells. Ah, uh, sure. We know Bells. Sure. And then um, I had like a red dress, but we turned it inside out so that it was solid red. Ah. And I'm rehearsing for my life at home. We draw the freckles on me. Okay. We go to Barnes and Noble. We're like, all right, let's let's win this bitch. <laughs> as as a child as does. As a child does. Of course. And we roll up, and I'm the only person in costume. What? No one, Nobody else got the memo? No one got well, the memo. Well, they didn't want it badly no enough. No one cared. Yeah, they didn't. <laughs> he said he, my he, name. He can't believe it either. <laughs> <laughs> the, the He's like, are you kidding me? Yeah, who can believe it? So, yeah, so basically he, <laughs> that's so funny. So basically, yeah, we like, um, we go there. It's like this shitty karaoke machine. I'm giving <laughs> everything I've ever had, like singing tomorrow. Yes. I was nervous. I, I wasn't. I'm talking like I was rolling and like that bitch. But I, I really was. I remember being nervous. My mom's like, "Come on, just get up there. You've been singing in the car the whole way. Come on!" Like, cause I was like, "Ew," you know. Yeah. It's like my first performance, mm. my first outside public performance. It's scary. It's terrifying. And um, uh, sing naturally. I win. Oh, I'm. I'm glad. I was. I was I kind won. of like nervous about no, it because no, I was no. like, I would hate for you to come with full costume. No. Mullet wig and all. No. And then they say, thank you so much, but no, not today. I won. Oh, she won. Congratulations. The L. The LOL. Like other side of the story is that afterwards. Now I, we get to go to the show, and it's like the worst seats in the. It's not VIP by any means. It's like when we're in the back of the, the theater. Nosebleeds. Yeah, we're in the nosebleeds of this theater, seeing Annie. But obviously, oh it was a life changing performance for me. Yes. To watch, and then afterwards, you got to meet the cast. Okay. So I, we go into this like other special room after the show, <clears throat> and, um, and basically, sh- uh, I have a poster for like the cast to sign. Sure. <clears throat> And there's all the orphans behind the table. <laughs> orphans line up. Yeah, all the orphans are behind the table signing the posters or whatever. Right. And I'm eight, so I'm orf- of orphan age. <clears throat> and so I walk up, and there's this long line, and I was like, okay, well, I'm VIP. Like, I have a sticker. I'm I thinking won. that I'm thinking that I'm higher than the other people in the same VIP room or whatever. Of course. So I go behind the table to like ask one of the orphans <laughs> to sign the thing. Sure. Naturally, now I'm behind the table. People are coming up to me <laughs> and asking me to sign their poster. Yes, I am. Yes. And I'm signing <laughs> up. Like, What's your name? Like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Literally, like, actually pretending like I'm in the show. Oh my god. Signing the posters. My mom's like, "Where is Camille?" Signing autographs. I'm uh, signing autographs. For, for the, the people. Sh- <laughs> Did, and was anybody like, what's Ma'am? happening? Or they were just like, if she's a kid, just let her do it. I think it was like, she's a kid, just let her do it. This is amazing. Ah. The child ranger probably wasn't paying attention at the time. So your first your first autographs were for something <laughs> you weren't even necessarily a part of. Exactly. It, it was and fun. you know I've been practicing for years, so I was fine. It was priming you, and you got your first entree. That's beautiful. I love that story. Oh my god. You're... As I understand, a pasta lover, is there an ideal pasta dish that either you enjoy making, because you also do a pasta making class, is Mm -hmm, that correct? mm -hmm. So that you either enjoy making or enjoying at any particular restaurant? Mm. I love, love, love the spaghetti limone at Little Frankie's. Okay. Love. And what is that like? And that is, um, just a shit ton of butter and uh, butter makes definitely better. Pecorino and lemon. Mm. <laughs> Pecorino Romano and lemon. Fabulous. And spaghetti, and it's just this like savory, salty deliciousness. Wow. Wet noodle. I love oh. a wet noodle. Can't have dry. That's no. disgusting. I think that that's something that nobody craves. <laughs> a I dry would say, country noodle. But this is also like my guilty pleasure food. Mm. Deeply. Oh. This is when I'm like. I'm alone. I'm doing this. It's my little secret to myself. I love making it. Ah. 
it's like my like mm. and I've perfected it to a T, but okay. it's so simple. It's literally just pasta broccoli. But my grandmother used to make it. Ah. So it's like my connection to her, my connection to myself. That's beautiful. And nothing fancy. It's like very easy and very simple, but yeah. it's just like the way you distribute the ingredients mm -hmm. and just having it very simple and like the right amount of everything. Mm -hmm. It's chef's kiss. I could eat. I could eat it all the time, but I obviously cannot. Oh. <laughs> I shouldn't. Okay. But, um, so it's, it's so it's a more of a, like a, a special kind of romantic dish to myself. To yourself. <clears throat> or a I glass of wine. Beautiful. Walk. Turn on my trashy ass television mm -hmm. and eat. It sounds like a delightful evening. <laughs> you have a, a behind the scenes video of a video, music video that you were making and mm. you take a bite of a banana and you take a bite of pasta and you have banana mm. pasta. Are there mm. any crazy or unconventional food combinations that you either came up with on your own or that exist in the wild that you really enjoy? That I enjoy? Yes. Because hmm. I don't think you enjoyed the banana pasta. I didn't enjoy the banana pasta. Correct. Um, I don't know how I'll, I'll let me think, but what something that like immediately comes to mind sure. is putting honey on my pizza. Ah, that's a good move. Um, <clears throat> that I enjoy thoroughly. Uh, aforementioned music video was for uh, Mr. <clears throat> right now, total mm -hmm. bop. Thank uh, you. What would be the ideal date that somebody could plan for you? Oof. An ideal, or like, is there a location? Is it oh, this, is this location you, this based? Is your, this is my ideal date. Yes. Ah! Yeah, it's really whatever your mind can dream up. I think it would be so sick, and I want to do this so bad, and I'm craving for the man that is down to do this. All right. We go to the airport. We We're go to the like, yoga room. We go to the <laughs> yoga room. We make love. Oh, no. um, we end. go to the airport. We're just like, when's the next plane? And we literally just buy tickets and we go and with the clothes on our back and just be like, all right, now we're in Milan or wherever. Like now we're in Aruba. Wow. Why not? Why not? How adventurous. <laughs> I'm into that it. That would be sick. Or go to a train station, like go to yeah. Grand Central and just be like, okay, we're going to go there. Let's Somewhere that can take you to a new destination mm -hmm. and you go on that adventure together. Water, can, I would love if like water was involved. Mm, okay. A sunset would be involved. Beautiful. A good martini would be involved. Okay, yeah, yeah. We're, we're writing the recipe for this. So these are all the things and we're putting it out into the universe. Absolutely. Amazing. <clears throat> well, I'm not sure if you will be able to meet this person on uh, Tinder because you posted something that you got banned from Tinder? I am banned for life. What happened? Girl, that is not for the. the oh, okay, <laughs> okay. Not that for is this. not for the for the listeners. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> but it, it it won't be there. It will not be there. Okay. No, I'm banned for life, and I even oh I even thought was like that can't be true. Like there there's not even a jury that I can like. Right. Could you imagine if there was a case. Tinder jury? Yeah. What would the Tinder jury look like? Well, do you know do you know how the the British folk they still wear. These like wigs and stuff, oh, which that is they rent. wild. I don't, which they rent, <laughs> right? Because they they can't, they're not going to buy those. I don't know why in this day and age nobody there thinks that that is like the, not the most hilarious, ridiculous thing, and they're like, we should still make that part of the uniform. Absolutely. Why is that happening? I do not know. But I would I would assume that they all have those wigs, but maybe they're like um, they're orange, like the flame mm. logo, mm. or is it or is it pink? I don't know. Whatever color their logo is, mm -hmm. it's that, and they're wearing the wigs, and they're sitting. We're the jury. Mm -hmm. Oh, I guess the jury doesn't wear that. That's like no. for the judge. The judge would okay, wear it. Okay, there's a line of judges. This is our own mind's eye. This is our approach. tender. Yeah, court. so that's what's happening. It's a it's a row of them with the with the wigs and, and the they're things. like Yeah, and they're waiting. And they want to hear my case. Yeah. And I have to give it to them. Ugh. Awful. And they're like, okay, I get it. Yeah. You're banned for a month. Sure, okay. And maybe don't do that. Okay, reasonable. And I'm like, okay, fine. <laughs> Not for life. You also have a song called Flirt. Mm -hmm. uh, what is maybe either the, <clears throat> the best and or worst pickup line or approach that anybody has tried on you? On me. Mm. Or if you have one that you tried, you're more than welcome to share that. Um, 
I'm I'm a sucker for leaving my number on okay. on what are these? A called? napkin. <laughs> this is a table. <laughs> checks like checks at uh, a okay. restaurant. Okay. Like when I'm oh, like adding to, the tip, I always the server? I, I don't always, but uh, yeah, yeah, if the server is cute, well, I could hope. Okay. I'm deeply leaving my number. You gotta shoot your shot. <laughs> Absolutely. Okay. Oh, you miss a hundred percent of the shots you don't take. That's what they so, say. And you never know because sometimes it could end up in a marriage and you have sung at weddings before. I don't know if you've seen The Wedding Singer. Uh, I actually it? haven't. Oh, but everyone does say I mean, that. I mean, I highly them. recommend, but also it's subjective. Uh, nothing too specific with the movie, but just that there are some really beautiful uh, event moments and then some really wild and crazy event moments that you didn't sign up for. Mm -hmm. Is there anything remarkable that's happened in, in any of those events for you? In weddings, singing mm -hmm. weddings. Um, uh, one, this was like one of the first weddings that I ever sang, which is even more like daunting and harrowing, but oh essentially I was singing with a band and it was a, it was the sub, I was the sub. I was not mm. the original band singer. I was like filling in for another girly. Right. And uh, it's an older couple. It was like out in Long Island somewhere and I'm singing their first dance that I had to learn. That's the other thing you forget about wedding singers. Like they have to learn these people's ridiculous requests, like the Winnie oh, the right. Pooh song. And now we have to learn the song and practice it. And the band is practicing. It's the like, Winnie the Pooh song? Like that There's a song? Kenny Loggins oh. Pooh song. Okay. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> and so people love that one. Um, oh, okay. I'll have to look that up. But it's like random songs that yeah. they're like, oh my, whatever, this means so much. So anyway, so I'm learning this right. random song on the way. Wow. Also, we just learned them on it's the way. It's a lot of pressure. So. Yeah. But it is a lot of pressure in the moment to yeah. not like mess it up. Right. So I'm getting ready to sing the song. No, I'm singing. They're like, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. and Mrs. Blah, blah. And sure. then they come out. They're dancing. They're an older couple too. Like maybe this is their second marriage. Sure. The bride looks at me, looks at her husband, and I just see her and they're still dancing and I'm singing the song or whatever. And I see her say to him, this isn't the fucking singer I hired. Oh, no. She walks out. <laughs> in the middle of the first dance. Leaves. We cut the song. We're like, okay. And then he's like, just keep playing, like play something else or whatever. Like keep the party going. She did not come back in the room the whole rest of the night. She just like was outside. She didn't come, she didn't enter the room. She, she refused to like listen to the band the rest of the night and sat outside and drank and like did her thing outside the whole rest of the night of the party. You are one of the co-founders of an all-female led jam session called Femme Jam. Sometimes I like to propose um, uh, unsolicited advice and business endeavor ideas. Tell me. Uh, so if you guys were, I don't know if you currently have any merch or anything like that, but if you were to start selling uh, jars of jam called Femme Jam, mm. what flavors would you like to do? Because mm. I think people, everybody likes some jam. That's so cute. Who doesn't? It's fine. Um, I'll get a cut. <laughs> We should talk about this. We should actually talk about this. I don't, okay. I don't, whatever are like more feminine leaning flavors and I don't uh -huh. know what that would Maybe floral be. notes, mm -hmm. some fruity vibes. Right. Maybe we go off of like the color of the fruit too. It's really, we can, we can talk mm -hmm. offline about this. Yeah, I'm down. Okay, amazing. Yeah. Fem Jam coming soon. Yeah, Fem Jam. To a store online. Oh, that's hilarious. Show near you. Why not? We have rehearsal tomorrow, and so I'm going to bring talk it. Bring to it them. to the group. Okay, great. And you keep me posted. Um, you do have a lot of musical inspiration. Some are no longer with us, uh, but one who is is Christina Aguilera. I like to put out these uh, situations, and we're going to set up a dinner. Uh, meeting for you guys. Uh, not me personally. This is in our mind's eye, but we're mani oh. we're manifesting. Because okay. uh, don't <clears throat> don't come back to me and ask me how that's going. Because unfortunately, I don't have Christina's number. Um, uh, it's going to be a dinner meeting, and you guys are going to talk about a collaboration that you're going to do. What would you like to have on the menu, and what would this collaboration sound like? The collaboration. Okay. Well, what would be on the menu is like Italian food, of course, 
Am I cooking for her? Or is she, you we're could, at a or restaurant. you could take that pressure off and you would just be curating the menu. It has to be Italian food. It's going That's to be. That's a non-negotiable. Wonderful. And what is, what is this uh, collaboration like? The collaboration would probably be some sort of iconic duet. Mm. My favorite album of hers is her Christmas album. <gasps> so honestly. I, I grew up listening to that album. on repeat. We know yes. the album. Yeah, Mariah Who, don't yeah. come for me. <clears throat> but yeah, it's a good one. So I would be like, girl. Yes. Let's revisit <gasps> some of the Christmas tracks. That's beautiful. And like revamp and do like a 20 year anniversary or whatever. Yes. I love that. That would be so sick. We're putting it out there. I'm in. Okay, it's happening. Because her Christmas album is... It's really good. It's. I haven't listened to it in a minute, but I really feel like it's still... I'm, this it's is still my message up. to you. Uh, it stands the test of time. She's a treasure. Mm -hmm. So let's... We'll protect her. We will. Okay. At all costs. Amazing. Well, aside from uh, singing and mm -hmm. songwriting, you also direct and choreograph your music videos. Mm -hmm. If you could direct for another artist, who would you like to do that for? Honestly, Christina. Yeah? Just like, hey girl. When was her last that will be my music the video, door. do you think? Who even knows? Does she have any new, new music out? I have no idea. I'm not oh, following her like I okay. once was. Okay, okay. I did see a photo of her very recently. I was like, you better pop the fuck off. Like, she looked amazing. So I think we're, maybe we're, I'm not sure how into like the cosmos and the universe you are, but maybe we're, we're conjuring something. something up. And it's, We're on it's gonna happen. Here. I kind of got goosebumps. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna yeah, happen. Yeah, we'll see. Okay. Well, earlier you you mentioned something about um, uh, you know snuggling up with your pasta and watching some some uh, shows. You have a thing for reality TV, is that right? Lately. Yeah. Is there anything that you're currently really enjoying? I just finished the latest season of Selling Sunset. Ah, okay. It's an addiction. I'm assuming you're not watching it for the real estate. Is that correct? I mean, I don't know. Do you do you like uh, real estate? No. Okay. Um, it's for the drama. It's not. Yeah, and it's like that. What else do I watch? Love is blind. Okay. Um, and these are all just because I had an injury earlier this year, so I spent a lot of time just like on the couch yes and so my friends were like girl you need to get into like love islands oh. love is blinds and i was like eh. and i always kind of was like i don't need all that and i'm now obsessed <laughs> but i don't watch vanderpump rules i know that's a big one too um but it's really only a big one now oh no i'm getting emotional about it hold on <laughs> i'm really not <clears throat> it's only um, because of the recent tea I saw that you also are a fan of a Carnival. Is that right? I or just not, love not Carnivals. So, in you general. love Carnivals. Amazing. <laughs> <laughs> so, what? Um, what's your favorite Carnival ride and Carnival food? Ooh, I would probably. I love a Ferris wheel. It's a I good one. I really do love a Ferris wheel. She's simple. She's beauty. She's grace. Yes. You know, she's yes. the star of the show. Yeah. Um, Especially if you've got like a sunset going and then yeah. you're just at the top I'm admiring kissing some everything. guy up there. How romantic. That would be another ideal date, a carnival. We're including that in the, <laughs> in the trip. <laughs> There's a carnival Somewhere. at whatever destination that we are randomly at. Why not? A carnival could really be anywhere. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. There are no bounds. I used to... And I haven't been on one of these in years. Yes. The the psychotic one, the zipper, oh. where you're like in a cage. Oh, wait. One, with one other person and you're just flipping. Uh, what? So it's like, it's called the zipper. Okay. And this you're isn't like a sitting. slingshot one where you go up, is it? No. Or, cause that's is... where my mind goes. Like a zipper, like you go, you know what I'm talking about, right? Yeah. The I ones that go like, I don't pew. I don't want to do that, honestly. I've seen I was, so many crazy videos. Have you ever seen this uh, one with the bird lands on the girl or something? No. Uh, Google that one. N no. <laughs> <laughs> it's a, everybody's fine. I can't speak for the bird, but she's okay. Jesus, I yeah. would lose it. Yeah. Um, no, this is no. This is a. Uh, you're in a, and this can be. The zipper is almost at every carnival. It can okay. range from a church to like the big leagues. Everybody's got them. Everyone's got Florida State they? Fair oh, geez. versus, you know, okay. Catholic Church. Sure. Um, basically, you're, you start, <laughs> you're in this like a cage that is no joke, like as wide as this table, maybe even okay. smaller. And it's you and one, smaller than the width of this table. Oh, for boy. Sure. Okay. You and one other person, you're in a tiny enclosed 
cage, okay? Yeah, side by side or like looking at each other? Side by side. Okay. So you're scooted in. Yes. It's tight. Okay. You're, they close the cage door. Sure. So now you're just in this tiny little like oval space. Okay. And there's like a bar here because you, you do hit a lot. Oh. Um, and I think it's padded on the top too because you could hit your head. Of course. So the whole thing is <laughs> This is not selling it to me. No, it's horrible. Okay. Like this was like the one when you were like a kid and you would go to the carnival and you're like, can you handle the zipper? Right. You know what I mean? And then once and now you you're get like, it, you're and then once Ferris you, wheel sounds nice. And then once you do it, you're like that kid. Could like being like, yeah, I, I did the scariest Riding ride. Rights. I could handle it. Right. Okay. Riding rides. Mm. So you're sitting and then the whole unit is moving. There's maybe like 12 of these cages on the on the on the wheel, yeah. or not on this like belt almost, you oh know, and my. it's and it's the rotating. So uh -huh. you like like a Ferris wheel. Uh -huh. So you're rotating around, but in a smaller way, but you're also simultaneously flipping the wow. entire time. So you're doing this. It's a lot of motion. It's a lot of motion. And like it's just, don't it's, go after you've eaten something. Absolutely not. Right. Oh dear. And in terms of food <laughs> that we're not eating, before that I'm not we go eating on before on the zipper. Of course. One of my faves is probably like a funnel, funnel cake. cake. Yeah, I, I would classic. have said funnel cake. Yeah, or like a corn dog. Okay, sure. It's, it's pretty pretty much anything fried you can get there. Yeah, which are like all fun foods. Right. Also, probably not the best for. I'm writing. a sucker for like I love. I used to love the caramel apples. Another good one. Yeah, classic. Yeah, that's me. Delightful. That's me at a carnival. I love it. Well, <laughs> kind of in the same vein of like carnival-esque foods, I think of like peanuts, Cracker Jacks, hot dogs. You've sung uh -huh. at uh, baseball games, the national anthem. Uh, one amazing one was for the Mets. Mm -hmm. um, and I saw the video for that in the illustrious words of Beyonce. It was flawless. Oh, thank you. Is there... Um, kind of a level of nervousness um, or pressure that exists when singing the national anthem over kind of any other song because there is that expectation of really nailing it? No. No. Only because I've been singing the national anthem. It's like low key, like I love singing the national anthem. Okay. It's like I, I, I joke you, that it's my song, but essentially thrive I in thrive the in the national anthem. anthem. Good. Because I grew up singing the national anthems when I was a kid. So shortly after the Annie thing, oh. I got cast in the singing group. Not from that, just <laughs> well, the timing. You well, you know. know. Right now. Yeah. Um, so then uh, we grew, I was in the singing group and many of the girls, the select chosen singers, would go sing national anthems for like the Tampa Bay Devil Rays at the time or the Tampa Bay Lightning. So we were like conditioned from a young age to be able to like really handle... Uh, singing the anthem right <clears throat> and I think what is so no and I don't even realize the gravity of like or like the like you saying all that I'm like yeah that is actually pretty crazy oh, but no. I'm not I even, hope that doesn't no 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 but it is no I'm by the time the next one anything. happens you'll, for, you'll forget this even happened um but there is a lot of factors that go into it like the echo of like the Mets one was really difficult because the echo of the stadium is like a full second and a half after you start so they're like wow. oh say oh say and that's what you hear but oh. you have to keep going on your own in pace. time yeah. yeah like and in your mind just be like just keep trucking along right so yeah no i love it oh it's fun it's amazing i mean because i think a lot of times uh famously the Super Bowl people are always kind of uh, myself included I can't speak to everybody are plastered to the screen I want to see who's singing it and how how is their rendition how is it going and I'm also sweating and praying for them that they don't like fudge a line also I would assume actually I don't know I can't speak to this but I would hope that if it's something that is as big of a deal that there would be some sort of cues a prompter. Lyrical cues. Do you think that they, I don't think that they have a prompter. Why don't they? Do they just say, toughen up? Toughen up, kid. Get out there. Go do it. What do you think? <laughs> Fuck the, up. the athletes have a prompter? <laughs> you know what? I don't know why they wouldn't allow for that insurance. Yeah. <gasps> Guys. Guys. That's weird. Yeah. Okay. Get well, yourselves together. You're welcome. There you go. Get a prompter. Now, you were the musical director uh, of a national tour, the Hits Tour. There are loads of people who will never have the opportunity to go on a national tour, or maybe there are some people who are gearing up to do that. What is tour life like? So I didn't go on the road with them the entire time. Okay. I just prepped them. Okay. 
prior for and their I, tour. For their tour. And okay. then I would I would check in every couple weeks to make sure that they're maintaining yes. the show. Yeah. Um, and doing a good job. Yeah. So I wasn't I fortunately wasn't um, on the bus. Yeah. Because that's exhausting. a whole thing. Yeah. I have many friends who are on tour, tour in different capacities. Yes. And it is they I would say it's a very tiring lifestyle. Right. And it's not for the week. It's chaotic. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. I well, would love to tour. With that being said, I my dream is to tour. <laughs> and and construct this this tour. What is it what does it look like? For me? Yeah. This tour looks like it's no, me. No, for Stevie Wonder. <laughs> <laughs> for this band for me and my my project, yes. my band, mm -hmm. my bus. Mm -hmm. My and are there gorgeous like, hot husband is also there helping. Naturally. <laughs> and are there like survival guide items or, or things like that for like the voice for your well-being that, that really help? Um, so there's like, so just obviously hydration is top for vocalists, but there's like steamers and things like that. Oh. that you like. I have like a portable steamer device that you can just make sure. Because also it's like at altitude, wherever you are in the world. True. Whatever the weather and the humidity is in all these places varies, right, from place yes. to place. So you need to kind of maintain your own like base level of yeah well wellness, well being. You got to protect the instrument. Yeah, um, throat coat is like a big thing for singers. Mm -hmm. um, uh, yeah, I'm just like not being stupid, but I think it's also <laughs> hard to like not. Um, and it's inevitable that you're like going to be exhausted because yeah. you're sleeping on a bus. You're not sleeping in a bed. So you're not getting as much sleep or you're not as restful, as well rested as you could be. So you really right. do need to like really take care of yourself. Yeah. And your health. Yeah, it's 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 not for the weak. Mm -mm. But I think it's one of those kind of like a uh, romantic things that you you do and you look back and you're like, oh man, remember those days where we were just on the bus, yeah. touring around, taking shots of throat coat. Yes. <laughs> it's beautiful. Exactly. Camille, this was a pure delight. Oh, I enjoyed this so much. I'm so impressed by everything that you've accomplished thank thus you. far. And I'm very excited to see that everything that you have in the future. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you for having me.